Hi everyone, welcome back. We had a huge live stream yesterday. That was absolutely a monster. We had Stocks with Josh, Keenan Grace, Larry Jones, myself on the channel. I'm gonna put a link to that live stream down below. There were some nuggets that we were sharing and it was big. We actually took that live stream, went live in the Discord and Patreon. Folks, if you haven't joined that, we rolled out our uh, portfolio. We started some of the picks that we were discussing. I know I made a few picks today as well. Uh, for the, that portfolio. You can see this right here you go. You can see what we got right here, the stock squad. Come on over and join us. See what it's all about. You can follow along as we do our portfolios, link down below. And of course, if you'd like to see my personal overall portfolio, check out my Patreon as well, where I'm putting my family's money and all the good things we have. I'll talk about how to get free stocks from Moomoo Moo and Weeble at the end. But right now, look, folks, we gotta dig into this. What do we got going on? I want to start, I want you to know this video, we're going to dig in to TMF. I want the TMF family to let me know you're out there. How many shares do you have? If you're watching this video, you care about TMF. I'm going to show you what some of the analysts out there are now believing, the economists who follow this, what's going to happen with longer duration treasuries and how are we going to make bank? How much money could we make? All these things I'm covering in this video. This is going to be a good video for those who are in TLT, 10 year treasuries, 20 year plus treasuries. I'm going to cover it. All right. So folks down in the comments, put a fire emoji, put the loaf of bread if you want. Put in TMF, where are you from and how many shares you got, all right? Or just are you buying treasuries? You don't even have to be in that one. All right, check this out. As you can see, Morgan Stanley says, Fed has done enough lean into duration. That's what I believe as well. We're looking at a lot of duration here. So what are they saying? What do you mean lead, lean into duration? The sharp rise in US economic growth in third quarter, was a one-off entertainment driven event. I agree. I don't think it was like, oh wow, the whole economy is just fantastic. Let's go. We're gonna, you know, to me, uh, it's gonna take a turn Q4, Q1. And I think that's it. But this is, I don't wanna go through this whole article, but I wanted to share the main point that they came out with. Let's just get right into the meat of it. Morgan Stanley's team predicts that the t yield on the 10 year treasury note, hovering now at 4.28, remember, the longer the date treasuries, the more interest rate risk we have and other things. But this is what they believe. It is going to go from 4.28% and end the year at 3.65%. Folks, that is huge. We are talking, what are we talking? 63 basis points? Monster cut there. If this happens and they are correct, let me tell you what I think is gonna happen to TMF it's going to go bonkers. We're gonna see an opportunity to make some serious money with this thing. Now, no guarantees, never tell you what to buy and sell, of course, but we are looking at this thing and I'm playing the long game on. I'm sharing with you what I'm doing. So let's. So if they are correct and the 10 year, remember this is the 20 year plus, but if the 10 year goes from 4.2 something down to 3.6, well, you should know that most likely the 20 and the 30s would be following. And that's one of the things I'm looking at. Uh, I wanted to see something when we get into it. Let's see if we can find it right here. Look at the rates right here, the 10 and the 20. So the 10 and the 30 are very similar. So if you're saying, well, this is gonna go down to 3.6, this should be roughly 3.6, 3.7 if it follows suit. Let me tell you, that would be pushing TMF, TMF up very nicely. And so that's what I'm kind of looking for. There's no guarantees this thing's gonna run. We could continue to see issues out there. But uh, I know there is a lot of people shorting the long dated treasuries, TMF, and this could be the mother of all short squeezes. When they're shorting the United States debt, they are playing with fire. And folks, we're gonna be having bear burgers before you know it. For those that don't remember how I like them, I like them like this. Remember this old bear burger, man, grill it up, yeah, eat it, take advantage of it. Our goal is to make as much money as we can. And I believe if Morgan Stanley is correct, that we could start to finally see that over the next three months. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Now, one of the things I told you I was going to do was show you how much money we could possibly make off of this. And right now it's around 579. It has been another ugly week, but will it turn? How high will it go? Where will we get to? Listen, the Fed's gonna do its best to get the rates back down. 
paying that kind of debt and paying the kind of interest on the debt we have in the United States government is huge. They're not going to want to sit there and pay and service that debt at these rates. Anytime you get above 4%, they get nervous. We're way above 4%. So I think something's gonna break. Of course, we already talked about that. I don't need to go over that again. But more importantly, how high could this thing go? Look, this is 121%. What was that, Mo? Oh, 173%. What do we got? We got a, another one here. It gets up there 140. Then you go down, then a little bit later. What's that up to? 90. Then we get the big one there. That's 200, roughly 180 something. Uh, and then you see all these troughs to peaks there that they start rolling up. 30 40 percent and now we had another run down we are at the point with the fed raising rates the quickest they have done it and as long as i can remember this could get ugly and financials are going to be uh, they're going to be in trouble all right you're already seeing credit tightening up you're seeing all kinds of things out there leading economic indicators are screaming something's going to happen there's no way i'm going to sit here and think to myself that everything's going to be hunky-dory go ahead let's just roll up yeah everything's good i'm going to put all my money in the most risky equities out there and because the market only knows one direction up no in the beginning of this year it did now when you come out here and you start to look and you're like okay well what happened so far this year and when you look you're taking a look at it you can say okay what do we got here we ran up nicely but now from those highs, even after today's good day, we're down 3% on the NASDAQ. And I think, you know, the big number to watch for me, obviously, right here, 14.358. If we cross back over that, I might have to eat some humble pie. And of course, we'd be wrong. But with that being said, I've been loading up on T-bill, TLT, and TMF. And I'm going to continue to do that through this. And so as this drops overall 3%, we know T-bills paying an annualized four, what 5.2, 5.3% right now. And of course, uh, TLT doing its thing and TMF. So TMS triple leverage, though, a little bit more risk and we're watching that. But for those that don't know, if you don't want the triple leverage, TLT is another one to look at, to consider. This is a 20 plus year treasury bond ETF. I like this one. So I have a ton, and let me just make sure everybody knows. When I say a ton, I'm talking a substantial amount of money, a couple hundred thousand in this one, and it pays me that 5.3% annualized. It pays out once a month, when you divide that out by 12, of course, and it gives a, a nice little payment every month. And then I have more money, like I just said, and I'm trying to do the about the same amount of money, or roughly that, in TLT and TMF all together. Uh, it's a little bit more risky, of course, because it's the long dated treasury, and that's what we're looking at here. So this one over last month down 1.11 for all that, and everybody's talking about, oh, you know, it's only down 1.11 over the last month, all right? Uh, if you go over and look at the NASDAQ, how's the NASDAQ over the last month? I think it's up a little bit, yeah, up 2.16. So it would have been better off being in the NASDAQ at this point, but we will see how this thing works, because like I said, we're starting to see it drop down a little bit. So. Anyways, if you're with me on that, let me know. Uh, investors are ignoring a big threat to stocks and putting too much faith in the Fed. So the bond king, Bill Gross, who, for those who do not know, he has been putting out the warning. And he says uh, he's skeptical the Fed will achieve 2% uh, inflation and cut interest rates anytime soon. So it's almost like he believes it's going to get much, much uglier before it gets better. So I wanted to bring this to you because I showed you Morgan Stanley, which is kind of good for us. But then you have Bill, uh, uh, the Bond King, Bill Gross coming out saying, look, it's not all hunky-dory. And so I'm not sure where we're gonna go. So the, you, got, you got two different ideas on this. I wanna make sure everybody's aware. Now, my, my opinion is, I think the Fed's going to actually break something. I think, uh, what, what's he say here? Uh, they're ignoring the big threat, I agree. So I'd rather be in bonds, even if there is more risk and maybe the pain isn't over yet than stocks because i think once the stock market collapses if it collapses it's going to be ugly it's not going to be like well okay you know one percent a month down for a couple like six months down six percent i think it gets ugly and you see a big sell-off and they run into treasuries and thus pushing it down to the threes like you see morgan stanley say so when you're watching all this and you're trying to put it together that's kind of how i'm looking at it and I, so i'm watching all these pe people i get the the Bill, you know, Bill Gross is no joke. He knows his stuff. And so when he talks, I absolutely listen. So it doesn't make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. 
uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. And so we're going to put it all together, though, and make the best educated decisions we can on the portfolios, which I'm doing. All right, what else have we got? We talked about that. And, of course, look at this credit or the money side, the M2 money supply is dropping to negative 3.69 now. M2, if you guys follow this, I think they said the last time something like this happened was back in the Great Depression. But remember, they put a ton of money, trillions, into the market. So they're just pulling some of that out. But eventually, that would have to stop. Or You know, you can't keep it down like this, restricting the money supply. So I'm watching it, and the last thing I wanted to cover, here's the fear, uncertainty, and doubt, the FUD that I saw and it didn't make sense because when you go in and everybody's saying, oh, the inflation, the CPI came out, it was so bad. And look, this went to 96% chance they're not gonna raise rates. I told you before CPI, it was 40% chance. Now it's down to 35. If it was so bad, why didn't this go higher? It went lower. In other words, it wasn't bad. I didn't see it as bad either. 40% uh, down, that even dropped too. So what we saw was that it actually wasn't bad CPI. The core dropped, and I think it's the lowest this year so far. Of course, regular the CPI with energy and all that in there, the more volatile stuff, yeah, it went up. Energy went up, gas, and gas went up 10% this month. It has been crazy. And so I was watching all that, all right? So that's my take on it. I think there's gonna be a lot of money to be made. Now, if you haven't gotten this money, get your free stocks over at Moomoo. $100 deposit, use my link, get you five free stocks worth up to two grand a piece five grand deposit you get you a free share of tesla or google that's an instant win plus 15 free stocks worth up to two thousand a piece highly recommend getting in there and then weeble right now they are killing it any deposit we i talked to them this is perfect for all you got to do you have to use my link down below put one dollar or more in you will get up to 12 stocks worth up to thirty thousand six hundred. this is too good to pass up then come on over and join us at the patreon with the stock squad like i said we got some big things rolling right now we just started the portfolio we have the live stream we did for members only that's still there you can watch that uh, where we go over some of the stocks we like all of us this is big it's a big big value you can take advantage of it uh and then of course my own personal patreon you can come over and join that as well uh, you can see where i put my family's retirement money and all that good stuff uh, you, you can support both. I would appreciate it. Now, that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. Well, let's get out there and make some money.